During the Middle Ages, alchemists pursued the impossible by trying to convert ordinary lead into precious gold. History showcases these alchemists as being wacky and delusional, but they were only a few centuries too early. Today, we can produce gold using modern technology. To understand how gold became so crucial in our society, we need to look at from where it comes. So grab a telescope because our story begins in the vast expanse of outer space. The extraterrestrial element. Unlike other metals that form in the Earth's crust, gold comes from space. Stars are made mostly of helium and hydrogen, which provide light. Inside the star's core, nuclear fusion churns out energy. As the star's life comes to an end, a massive stellar explosion occurs known as a supernova. The pressure of a collapsing star is so intense that it forces protons and electrons to create a neutron. Since neutrons don't have any repelling electric charge, they're easily swallowed up by heavier elements such as iron. As the iron gathers more neutrons, heavier elements form. But how did all this space gold end up in our home? Planets form from a swell of gas and dust cast out through space via a supernova. The gold particles were likely mixed up in the cosmic cloud that formed Earth. Fast forward a few billion years, and we now mine this precious metal to make jewelry, computer chips, false teeth, and more. Where is gold found on Earth? All of the gold formed in the stars sank to the Earth's core. Eventually, asteroids struck the Earth, causing gold to surface to the mantle and crust. Had this not happened, there wouldn't be any gold readily available for humans. You can find gold today in rock ores and on almost all the continents. Since gold is dense, the majority of it sank to the bottom of the ocean. Studies suspect that there are around 20 million pounds of gold in the sea. Earthquakes also help gold deposits form. As the faults shift, mineral-rich water decompresses. Once the water vaporizes, you'll find strips of gold and quartz resting on rocky surfaces. Similar activity happens in volcanoes. South Africa and India have the two largest known gold deposits. Johannesburg rests on top of a gold deposit. India's Kola region is rich with precious metals, and Indians consume the most gold products out of any other country. How much gold exists on Earth? The World Gold Council states that around 190,000 metric tons of gold have been mined throughout history. All that gold is worth around $7.5 trillion, and about 85% of it is still in circulation. Since gold is so dense, 190,000 metric tons would only fill around four Olympic swimming pools. There's still roughly 1 million ton of gold in the outer layer of the Earth's crust. It's unknown how much is in the mantle and core, but it's assumed to be much more than the crust amount. Why do we love gold? Throughout history, gold has had robust control over our society. Its long-lasting beauty and adaptable nature makes it one of the most sought-after elements on the planet. The Aztecs considered gold to be the excrement of the gods. But with modern technology and resources, why do we still go crazy for this expensive product? For starters, gold is scarce. Other metals like silver and copper don't come close in terms of scarcity. Therefore, gold is far more valuable. Also, gold has unique properties that other metals lack. It doesn't tarnish, and it's exceptionally malleable. You can pound a single ounce of gold into a 100 square foot sheet. Let's face it, gold is eye-catching, and we love to flaunt it. That's why most jewelry contains a fair amount of gold. Kings and queens across the globe have used the precious metal to display their divine superiority. Other than being used to display wealth or as a fashion statement, gold has some fantastic practical uses. Probably its most important use is as a conductor for electricity. Its anti-corrosion properties make it a great resource to power our computers and mobile devices. What are your thoughts on gold? Do you think it deserves its high reputation? Would you ever buy some? Either way, it's undeniable that gold has shaken our society for better or worse. Fortunately, people can obtain gold in a more civilized manner. We hope you now have a better understanding of gold and are eager to get your hands on it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.